Hey guys, I just wanted to record a quick video for you today. We have been sick with the flu in this house for about the past three weeks. Somebody in the house has been sick nonstop. I am finally back up and feeling good and it's a beautiful day out. So we are trying to get some garden cleanup done and I owe you a garden video. So I thought this would be a quick and easy one that we could get up really fast. And then I'm still working on several other videos of the garden renovation over the years. But today, let's go check on the garden. Okay, so like these big pots, I did go ahead and clean these out because they have perennials in them. And uh, we can go ahead and get those moved back down to the end of the driveway where they usually go. Oh, are you going to go ahead and drag one? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come back and get the, the square planters uh, cleaned up in a little while. Okay, so I did do a little bit of uh, trimming of the bushes. I haven't cleaned up my mesh yet, but I did get them trimmed. They were pretty wonky. And then check this out. This is the great thing about having garden videos, I cannot for the life of me remember what I planted here last year. I mean, I remember I did the hookra, and I mm -hmm. did hookra over there, and that's coming back. Clearly, see this? Something's popping up there, Yeah, right? clearly that is a perennial, and I cannot think of what I had there. I know I had impatience and begonias here. Did you they, at one time had the elephant ears there? No. No, the elephant ears were over there. Mm -hmm. But check this out, though, and I don't remember having whatever that is over there also. I do not recall that, but check it out because it's over here too. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? I do. Yeah. So I was, I mean, there was like huge stalks sticking up. So I came to trim those and that's when I noticed it all. See that that's where the elephant ear was. Mm -hmm. And then we had the ferns back here, which we dug those up because I didn't think that they would survive, which they probably would have since we didn't really get much of a winter. Mm -mm. But, um, and then, like, I had dug up, I think I had a uh, polka dot plant in here that I had dug up because I was trying to overwinter them, and they died anyway. So, Did you have some pansies time. here at one time, the, the mango-looking color ones? Remember the colorful ones? They no, were... those were begonias, and they okay. weren't the, they weren't the uh, perennial kind. They were the annual ones. So I don't know what it is, but I'm, not, I'm sure if I – I'll just have to go back and look through – our footage from mm -hmm. last year and I'll, I'll figure it out pretty quick, but I can, I've been racking my brain trying to think, what did I plant there? And I don't remember. <laughs> Isn't that funny how mm. you think you're going to remember those things and yep. then a year goes by and you don't. No, that, thank goodness for pictures. I know. Yeah. I'm glad. Oh, will you grab that flag over there for me? I meant, meant to grab that. Or, or, I, uh, here I, no, I, I happen to be looking at it thinking that's tethered. Oh no, 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 no. I just the flag. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to take the whole thing off. Yeah, I saw that it was all. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's been through some windstorms. <laughs> thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a bunch of weeds and stuff to clean up over here mm -hmm. for sure. I'm hoping that elephant ear comes back. Yeah, we should have pulled that bulb out of there. We should have. And. If it had been on any other side of the house, it probably would have been fine. But this is the north side. Mm -hmm. And so it barely gets any sun there. So uh, I was nervous about it anyway. But we did have a super mild winter. So we may get lucky. I'm hoping. And then, okay, this, I didn't know if you saw this or not. I'm Can so all this sad. go in the trailer? Yes. Well, I would like to keep some of the keep nicer two. pallets. Yeah, that's it. So that we can, because I want to build like a little corral just to hide the junk. I mean, like actually fasten them together because we've had them just kind of propped up there. I'd like to actually fasten them together and have a place to store junk. Not a bunch of junk, but just, I mean, yeah, the no random true. stuff, mm -hmm. you know, that we just random wanna, pile, right? Right, mm -hmm. right. Not junk necessarily, but like these compost bags, you know, for example, like mm -hmm. to keep them organized concealed and away from exactly view. so here's a big boo-boo that we did we kept we kept putting off winterizing our rain barrels and look at this oh goodness I all see it. 
three of them busted. Oh gosh, yeah, they did. I'm so sad. Oh no, so sad. Yeah, I yeah, thought this show. one was still good, and then I realized, nope, it's busted over here. Get a close up of that, because uh, yeah, this is what happens when uh, there's a little bit of water and you don't uh, put them away at the end of the year. But yeah. luckily, we got those on very good sale. Yes, we did. I think we paid fourteen bucks each for them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, at least our uh, oh, we'll our connection pieces are yeah, good. We we'll so. use the hardware. Yeah, but yeah, I was so sad because all I mean, what. For like two or three months, every weekend, we kept saying, we need to winterize those rain barrels, winterize those rain barrels, winterize those rain barrels. And we never did do it. <laughs> yeah, I so, can take that apart and save all the stuff. Yeah, um, the I actually work. saw a video the other day where somebody was talking about how they use these for uh, like an extra compost bin. And I know ours are, they, they said, they specifically said busted ones. I can duct tape them. And, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just we, Just if we used it to cure compost in. You know, mm -hmm. even if we had to stack two together, you know, since mm -hmm. the holes are in different places, it mm -hmm. would probably be okay because, you know, we don't like to waste things. No, so we repurpose them somehow. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking we could either caulk it or duct tape it or something and then just use it to cure compost. So like both of our compost bins are full again. Right. And then I add, I need to add water. And that's what made me notice because I was going to get water from the rain barrels. Is it that... has rained for the past three days. There's not a drop in there. Yep. And I was like, dang it. Three days worth but, of rain. Mm -hmm. Three days worth of rain. We didn't collect a single ounce. Well, maybe we did in the other ones. We'll have to check those. But yeah, I added a bunch of stuff in here and it, it is very dry. So this on rain water. days, it may be good to leave the lids open. That's, I know. Had I not been sick and actually oh, yeah. knew that those were busted, this one's pretty full too. Tub, start dipping this stuff out yes. put them put them in some buckets uh -huh. and then next weekend or beforehand we bring the logs and put them in the flower yes. in the beds i mean yes. and then take this compost and start mixing our stuff up right you know? that is exactly but, yes uh, exactly i'll find some i have some buckets in the garage i was wondering this one's on the um by the back door in the garage mm -hmm. i was just about to do that too thank you very much sir um are those uh are those empty yes oh good 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 okay Oh, also remember if you find any of my tags. Oh, yeah. These are still mm -hmm. good. I've got a whole pocket full of them because now I'm, they're getting unearthed, I guess. Okay. Yeah, spring is coming because they're popping up all over the place. I've been picking them up all day. And there's my monkey pot handle. Mm -mm. I had the cutest little monkey planter and it busted this past year. I dropped it. It yeah. didn't bust like spontaneously, but mm -mm. I dropped it and it busted. Uh, are you going to the trash or something? Oh, yeah. I'm going to take it all this way. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you just walk them with me. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this year, one thing I was going to say, we've always had like a trellis or something here. Let's not do that this year because I don't know if that blueberry is going to come back because we had him too shadowed this past year. And I, I think we might've killed him. This one should be fine. Looks but, like it's got buds on it. Yeah. Last year though, it didn't get any berries because the cantaloupes grew completely over it. So this year, I'm going to make sure to just grow short stuff through here and make sure I don't do anything trellising because clearly they uh, they shaded out the blueberries and we didn't get any. So, um, and then I know I know you hate that headboard that I was oh, using. Oh no, as a repaint compass. it. No, we use it. Well, yeah, we could repaint it. Yeah, yeah. And then did you see this? I don't know what's going on here, but what's that? Uh, I guess someone. A Life? dog from the other oh. side. Oh, have torn some more panels. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, Elijah. Oh, it was. On the far left. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you so much. You feeling Perfect. better? Yeah, you sound your voice is real deep. Yeah, I that panel. I don't think they've ever replaced. No, that one. No, but see that there's a new one there. Yeah, and then there that one piece is still missing there but then over here there's more i just noticed those today and i was like geez this whole fence is oh they replaced some more over here mm -hmm. too yeah i was here with that weekend oh that, really that they did okay. that right you know i didn't realize you do back up to five houses don't you yes that's the craziest yeah. thing i would hate to be that house right there with the backyard that's shaped like a piece of pizza but yeah <laughs> like, like a piece of pie that's what i always think is it's shaped like a piece of pie yeah so oh this is a good uh 
because I was trying to the video that I'm working on that I haven't finished the next episode of the four year compilation of the garden. Um, I was trying to show how we had moved that middle bed because it used to run this mm -hmm. way. So this is the perfect view right here mm -hmm. to show how and we had turned, turned it. And we just did that last year in 2023. We turned it that way. And then we did this cattle panel trellis right here. And the main reason we did that was for our blackberry bushes. Because we were using this thing turned upward. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, we were putting it uh, Horizontal? No, this is horizontal. Vertical? Vertical be up, yep. Yeah. Okay, you're no, right. And sticking straight up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So anyway, so we did the cattle panel trellis last mm -hmm. year and, and I like it because I did have a little bench in here. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to tell you, Art, was I thought maybe with some of the scrap wood, once we get caught up on things, we could actually do a little built-in bench to sit right there just uh, because, huh? Yeah. I, I have an issue with that. I what? Bees. I'm not going to sit there in front oh. of the bees. <laughs> that's just my thing. But, but yeah, you have uh, a little nook there to do something with for sure. Yeah. Or even, even if I don't use it to sit on, just to have it to, cause I'm always like, well, like I always have to sit stuff down right here. Like, especially when mm -hmm. I'm harvesting or picking blackberries, right. it'd be nice to have, have a, a basket bench. bench, something or just baskets of harvesting baskets. Yeah. Or something. I don't know. I even, definitely. I'm even fine with it being like really low to the ground to where it could be more of like a, a little nook for the grandkids when they come over, you know, cause like tiny, he loves, he thinks that bridge is, was made for him. Like he loves running up and over that bridge. He taught Rocky to go over mm. the bridge the other day. Oh, okay. He was like training Rocky, like, no, don't go that way. Go this way. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> and uh, he was making Rocky follow him up and over the bridge. So anyway, I just thought yeah. if we did something there where, where the grandkids felt like that was their own special spot, you know. What's this greenery but down here below? But black. That bushes. is the bee balm that I keep oh. trying to dig up. That's the bee balm. So yeah, I need to when I trim back the dead uh, blackberry stuff. Mm -hmm. I just I'm losing words today. I cannot. I can't. It's not coming to me. But anyway, yeah. yeah when I trim that up, I need to dig that bee balm back up. I've been digging it up each year and moving it to those over there mm -hmm. and so I, I need to do that so maybe today if we get done in time okay so let's keep moving because i promised that i wouldn't take very long okay mm -hmm. so i did do a garlic video and it just dawned on me i never published that i actually still have that sitting in there mm -hmm. so i need to finish that i have not i need to do carrots i need to do that today i never did do that so yeah okay so anyway can you guys see my garlic? Mm -hmm. It already sprouted. I'm so happy. Can't wait to so, see that. Huh? Love fresh garlic. Yes. Oh, and my peas. I'm going to try to do those today, too. So Your peas? Anyway, yeah, I have them pre-sprouted in there, but oh, okay. I'm, I need to like, get them potted up because they're, they're ready. Okay, so, okay, we'll keep on moving. Keep on moving. We're doing a lot of cleanup right now, and... I want to clean the patio too. And one of these days, very we keep saying we're going to do it very soon, but we're going to show you guys how we screened in that patio. I still had the pool set up for tiny. It didn't have water in it, of mm -hmm. course. The other day when he was here, he just wanted it to slide into. Up here, I did notice the... Uh, okay, so first of all, I've been meaning to ask you about this. So the uh, landscape timbers. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about sanding these down. And staining them because I painted them black last year and see how it's like it's all discolored and everything. I mm -hmm. think I'd rather just stain it like the dark brown, like the bridge. Yeah. And then restain every year I restain this pathway. And and I want it to be a contrast. So I don't want it I want it to be more of the pecan so that it's a contrast to the timbers. And then those up there, I liked them being black and I, I still do, but it, it kind of looks like it got warped. Yeah, weather. So yeah, mm -hmm. so I was thinking about we've got plenty of timbers over there. So I was thinking about just kind of swapping out mm -hmm. some. So we don't have to do that today because we've got so many other things going on. But but at some point, I think that would be a good thing to do. Just Swap to them out, get right. it all cleaned up. But yeah, I need to. Every year, I usually 
refinish all of this wood stuff just mm-hmm. to clean it up and get it looking a little better. So that's another, but we don't have to do that. Right, that's right stuff it. I can do during the week on a nice day. But uh, our grape vines, I don't know. I hope they come back. Yeah, they look, well, there's some green or red at the stem of that one. Is there really? Oh, yep. good, 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 good. It's okay. possible. Good. A little more warm weather. So we are down here at the south garden now. Oh, I forgot I planted garlic over in that bed, too. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> and then the strawberries, they've been uh, doing pretty good mm-hmm. for a while. <laughs> That one, I need to dig one random plant in the gravel. I need to dig that up. And oh, was that a strawberry in. also? Yes. And then weeds. And, and look, see, look at how low our soil level is. That's why I wanted you to bring logs. Yeah. So I thought we'll scrape all the soil back, fill it as much as we can with logs, put the soil back over it, dump compost, compost on top, and then we've got plenty of, uh, of uh, other mix, other stuff to mix in with it too but we need to get see look this is the bed that we topped up with that mushroom compost yes and look at how much it has settled already yeah it's broken down quite a bit a lot yeah i'm really yeah this one had the majority of it also i think Mm -hmm. now what's this growing here is this uh, um... weeds oh oh that garlic it escaped it escaped from its skin dang look at these garlic yeah those are growing pretty yeah Yeah, it was. I knew there were rabbits over here. That's why I did these. Mm -hmm. So this little hack, guys, if you have pests that rodents or whatever that dig up stuff in your garden, these came from the Dollar Tree or a dollar twenty-five, and I like to keep those on hand. And then you can see I just use my landscape staples. Can you see that? I just put those right down in four different spots so they're nice and secure. So you can tell, look at how good that garlic has sprouted. I'm so happy about that. Except that one, <laughs> a little runaway, that's funny. But I guess the rabbit's not messing with it. Mm-hmm. Art yeah. said earlier he found a rabbit living over there. That was our junk drawer pile over there. He's probably hiding behind these pallets. Look at these. What in the world? My strawberries jumped, jumped uh, containers. That's funny. The strawberries were over in this bed. Huh. Look at this. Yeah. Did you see this? I saw it earlier. I didn't. I thought you had them there planted on purpose. No. <laughs> and they've been in. They've been in that bed since 2020. So that's pretty funny. I've never seen them over into this bed. How funny. Okay, so we are getting back here. So this is the junk area that Art is working hard at trying to get cleaned up today. Um. And then again, we've said this before in a video, but we're going to do a really nice with the horizontal wood slats. We're going to do a different enclosure for the AC unit and get this looking a lot nicer over here. Made a lot of room already. You show the bin yes. we disposed of. Yeah. Let me come over here and show. Yeah. Yeah, we thought that was going to be, a, we had an IBC tote type of thing. We thought that would be a good place for, to dump stuff, but it was just an eyesore and it was really driving me crazy. So, so we're getting that cleaned up or art is anyway. Mm-hmm. So let's make our way out here. Check out my elderberry though. It's coming back. Good. Mm-hmm. I need to clean up the uh, weeds around it, but, and then I've got like my smoke bush and everything i need to trim all this stuff back but okay well we have made it back around to the front yard so we're gonna get back to work hey guys now that our household has fully recovered from the flu and sinus infections and everything we have been hard at work behind the scenes and we've got some very exciting announcements to tell you about so first of all Our newly updated website has gone live, finally. We've been talking about this since October, so I'm super excited for you guys to see it. SecondMileJourney.com, it's still the same website address. It's just a whole new design and layout, and I think you're going to love it. I just ask that you bear with me momentarily on the recipe section. I'm still working out a few bugs over there, and then I'll get that updated with my recipes. But also. 
I would like your recipes. If you would like to submit some, there is a button there on that page. If you have a great recipe you want to share, if you've got pictures of the recipe or pictures of yourself or anything like that that you could include, just submit that recipe along with the list of ingredients, the instructions, and any photos. And I would love to give you credit on the website for that. The next thing I want to tell you about is a very brief survey that we have. It's only 10 questions. It literally would only take you two minutes to complete. If you would not mind doing that for me, it would help me so much to know what direction to take our content in the future. We are working on so many great free resources for you guys, but I want to hear from you about your gardening experience and kind of what you're looking for. And this survey will help me so much. There will be a link to that in the description. And I really hope you'll go take a few moments to complete that for me because it means the world to me and will really give me some direction on which way to go. I want our website to be your one-stop shop for all things gardening and DIY on a budget. I just need to hear from you so that I can make sure that we have all of our bases covered. And also comment below on this video to let me know kind of what information you would be interested in seeing on a website about gardening or DIY or anything like that. Just let me know all of your best ideas. That would be so helpful. And then another thing, I don't know if you're aware, but this is my full-time job now. I wasn't prepared for this to be full-time just yet, but I think God had a different plan. And as scary as it is, I'm just taking a step of faith and trusting that he's got this and I'm just following where he leads. But I certainly cannot do that without you guys. And I'm doing all of this for you. So that's why I need to hear from you so that I know exactly which direction to go. So if you enjoy gardening content or DIY, Art and I would be so thrilled if you would hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our future videos. And we have so many neat things in store for you that we haven't even revealed yet. But if you'll participate in that survey, you will be in on the ground floor and you will get to shape the direction of this channel, the direction of our website, the direction of our business. And you will get to take ownership in that because we're structuring it around you. And remember, that survey link is in the description. But here in a minute, I'm also going to pop up a QR code on the screen. You might want to screenshot that. And then as you happen to see any of your friends or family that are also into gardening, they can just scan that QR code straight off your phone so that they can participate in the survey as well. Also in the description is a link to join our email family. If you will subscribe there, that will allow me to send you our free resources once they are ready. You can be one of the first to see the new products and give us your feedback on it. Also, are you aware of our Friday night live streams? They happen on our main channel, Second Mile Journey, right here on YouTube at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time every Friday. We are starting giveaways, and I would love to hear from you what type of gardening giveaway you would like to see. And we've been trying to get a few more subscribers on each of the channels before we really started doing too many giveaways yet. If you guys can help us get 100 people on this Friday's live stream or any any future live stream, as soon as we have a live stream where we've got a hundred people there on that live stream, we're going to do a big giveaway. So tell all of your friends and family, I will link the next live stream in the description as well. But even if you're watching this video in the future, come to any live stream of ours and invite all of your friends and family. And as soon as we get to one that has 100 people, then we will start doing a giveaway there and it will be awesome. So let me know in the comments what you would like to win. And remember to go the second mile today for someone in your life and with your resources. Have a great day.